was March or April of 2014. To a default, you can't manage what you can't measure. So understand what your niche might be or understand what your market might be and understand what your client's desires or needs or wants are. Once you understand that, and then once you can measure and you can manage it better, that's when growth will come in spite of itself. Business is fun. And the only way it's gonna be fun is if you're passionate about it. So go into something that you enjoy. Because the last thing you wanna do is spend, everybody says, you know, I work an eight to five. Well, when you run a business, it's not eight to five, it's 24 seven, 365. It doesn't matter if you're on vacation, you know, I can't remember the last time I had a vacation where I haven't received one, two, three, ten 10 phone calls from the office. It's not because my employees can't handle things. It's they want correct direction, you know, and they know that the, they know that I'm always available. My door's always open. Um, and I'm always open to ideas too. So if it takes me 15 minutes to have a conversation with someone and I'm sitting in, at a tiki bar in Florida trying to enjoy spring break with my wife and kids, I'll still take that phone call. You know, but I still respect the balance between work and la and work and home. Um, and maybe it won't be. Uh, maybe I'll respond with a text and say I'll call you back later. But I'll still make sure I I get back to you. And my staff does want to respect my time away. But at the end of the day, I eat, breathe, and sleep this place. You know, it's it was my father's. It, it, DNS was my father's, which has now become mine. And I started Defender uh, from nothing. And it it's hard to not bleed the two together, right? because um, we're still in the same industry, we're still in the automotive industry, so they both complement each other. And that's why I think it's just one big happy family. But it's, tr be true to yourself, stand, understand what your culture wants, to understand what your culture needs to be or what you want it to look like. Always ask for more money than you need. That's one thing I, I was told at a very young age from a family friend. Um, and just grind, and you're, gonna, and you're gonna get out what you put in. So do what it takes. There's plenty of sleepless nights. There's plenty of times where, you know, money was tight. I remember through COVID, I didn't take a paycheck for six months, but I wanted to make sure that my staff was taken care of. So, you know, and that was that was exhausting in its own. But at the end of the day, if you take care of your staff, that's your largest asset, they will take care of you and they will take care of your clients and your customers. Well, success in its own is a journey, not a destination. I remember buying that, um, I remember buying that, uh, it was a little rock I got for my dad for Christmas probably when I was 10 or 12 years old. It was on his desk, I think it's still in his office. Um, and that kind of s resonated with me. But to sustain success, and I live it every day. I make sure, make sure people know who I am. This is what works for me, may not work for everybody. I wanna be relevant. I still want to be a part of everything. Growth is a struggle because you know I still want to have that family feeling with all the staff members we have that are, well, those are family members as I should call it, as should put it. But um, just being honest, right? And sometimes that conversation that's not going to go good doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It's just the fact of the matter. And never lie to the customer because then and don't lie in general because it's just it's a it's a snowball effect right because you don't remember what you said because you lied where if you're honest at least you're being honest and in trust is huge um your staff your clients your vendors need to be able to trust you um and that's a huge part of success and just driving it home right having that vision setting goals um managing what you measure and holding expectations. And you have to hold yourself, ex you have to hold expectations for yourself too. Because if you don't, then there's no, there's no challenge. You know, and every day I wake up and I want to challenge myself. I want to be better than I was yesterday. And there's nothing more gratifying for myself knowing that I at least accomplished maybe 20% of what I wanted to today because in the end, everything falls on me from any decision, whether it's financial, personnel, uh, relationship, it all, it all, I'm an end-all be-all when it comes to things, you know, and, and sometimes those tough decisions will get the best of you, but those decisions are also be the ones that will propel you into the future and, and, and have you have that continued success. The only thing I want to say is I want to say thank you to my staff, the ones that have been with me from the beginning. You know, I truly appreciate your hard work and taking a gamble on me, you know, 
um, 10 years ago. I was just a 29 year old kid that had a plan, had an idea and never knew that this is what it would turn into. So I just wanna say I really appreciate them and I can't say enough about them. Um, and Debbie, Rich, Matt, you know, Greg, I know Greg's retired. My core group, they were, they, they are a majority of the reason why we're here today, 10 years later and looking towards the future. So thank you.